Too smooth that mud talking and have your ass in a wreck. You sign your check. Pussy better do what he says. We shutting down show. Ain't gotta put no price in your head. Man, I'm coming for your tongue for all that shit that you said. Gonna make the profiles boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. What it is, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is right here on Gunner's Profiles today, and then I'm going to tell you what it ain't. What it is is real talk in real life by a real one who really been to different places and really did real things. What it ain't is bullshit. No added preservatives, no sugar in the gas tank, no weird stuff. If you want that weird stuff, there's other channels providing that all day long, right? But in a minute style and direct fashion, right here what we're providing on Gunner's Profiles is the really real. And what I wanted to talk about is something that's very heartbreaking, something that's tragic, something that's real, and someone we need to help get out. Just like Free Kane, man, the movement is real, the movement is strong. That Balto needs to be out here with us. He is being oppressed right now by a system that is on his back. So I was scared just because of who he is, man. Our brown brother needs to be free. And with that being said, also, Melissa Lucio, as you can tell by that thumbnail, that old Vijita right there, that woman, that great woman who has went through so much tragedy in her life, is sitting now in Texas on death row, and she just was able, by the skin of her teeth, the wind was blowing, by the skin of her teeth, to escape execution that was actually supposed to happen yesterday, right? April 27, 2022. Now, let me give you some backstory and profile of this poor woman. Um, I see it the way I see it. You're going to see it how you see it. Leave a comment if you feel some certain type of way, um, because I feel some certain type of way, and that's why I'm profiling this great woman. Yes, I say great woman because I believe she struggled and strived as a single mother for a long time, and she deserves her just due, and she was unjustly put and incarcerated and given, given the death penalty just because they wanted a player out of pocket. Now, trip out. Melissa Lucio, right, comes from struggle, you know, comes from, a, 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 as a young child, someone who was abused um, sexually, morally, um, just a lot of different things. She's always had a very tragic life, okay, but she was a great woman in the fact that even though this woman, you know, went through all these hardships in life, even though this woman had to put up with all this negativity around her, she proceeded, right, to struggle and strive for her children. This is all she had. And a real woman that doesn't have nada but still has her children is richer than me and you. Those are rich women, right? Just like a man that struggles and strive for his kids daily, he might go to work, he might say, fuck, I got fucking corns on my feet, so I'm tired, right? But at the end of the day, when he sees his children sleeping and breathing and they got a roof over their head, well, he's a rich man, a very wealthy man in that, that he has produced life and he is taking care of it. So for that, I commend those that are out there doing it. Now, the reason I wanted to profile this woman is she's going through some things right now. Oh, yes, there's a lot of things she's going through, and her name's in the airwaves. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, she had a hard life, like I said, uh, being abused several times over. Now, uh, growing up in Texas, you know, there's a lot of raza. It's very raza-orientated, a lot of Tejanos around you. Um, and everyday life is a struggle. You know, you don't know what your neighbor's going through. You're not tripping out on what's going on behind closed doors or what's going on in the next door fucking neighbor. You're tripping. You're going to work. You're doing your thing. You're trying not to be pinta bound. Only listen to it. Um, everything is what it was and what it is in daily life. And such is the struggle. Like I said, everyone minds their own, so their own don't remind them. And they're just trying to make it. Now, this woman was just trying to make it. She had several children, okay? She was in a lot of abusive relationships where hands were put on her. Um, she was in a lot of relationships where she had to get away for one reason or another. Of course, she was a child bride, meaning that a very young, tender age, um, she married an older man. It happens in the Mexicano lifestyle. Um, sometimes some familias... Don't see no wrong in it. Now, I see a whole lot wrong with that bump and grind, right? Um, I don't get down like that. Children are children, and they need to live their lives as children. When they become adults, it's a different story. Whatever happens, happens, um, such is life. Um, but as a child bride, and she went right into an abusive relationship and had several children, okay? I think she had 12 children, to be exact. That's a lot of ch children, you know what I mean? I had a Thea that had 21 children. I had another Thea who had 19. Shit, I had a Thea who had fucking like 26, right? Straight up. Back in them days, women, uh, especially Mexicanas, had a lot of children. They got in a lot of abusive relationships, a lot of relationships that just didn't pan out. So I was going to add a kid here, a kid there, sprinkle in another one for fucking, like it was oregano, right? They had kids. Um, but that's neither here nor there. She was a good mother. She was a good mother, you know? She didn't have much. She was poor. Um, she probably lived off the system from time to time. 
But this woman did what she had to do. Her kids were clothed. They were fed. They had a roof over their head when she could produce that. She did the best she could by herself. Of course, she didn't have an extensive familia helping her at that time. So she was pretty much on her own. And a woman with 12 children, I'm going to tell you right now, so scared, I can't touch that. Don't, 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 don't. I can't touch that, right? Not a lot of men are trying to be involved with a woman like that, but for only one thing or another. And you know what that one thing or another is. So let's get you the front or the back. So you got the front, so one. I got the back. Let's get Hey, why you got so many kids? This is why she has so many kids. Okay, because the babosos only want that and they get on down the road. It's an ugly situation, but it happens over and over again. What makes this woman so unique, right, was in Fe on February 15, 2007, she had a daughter, Mariah, who was a little baby, two or three years old. She was just a little one. It was her, young, her youngest child. And this woman had been struggling, you know, Melissa Lucio, on finding a place to live for her kids. So she was happy this day because she actually was able to get the keys to her brand new apartment. It was upstairs. So her and her kids, you know, she needed her children to help her. And they were. They, she was a great mother. Their kids loved their mom. There was never no complaints about abuse. There was never no complaints about their mom catting out. Um, there was no none of that. She was just a typical single mother with a gang of kids, man, struggling, you know. Everyone around her was not paying attention. She was invisible to the world, but to the world, the world was not invisible to her. Okay, so she's moving her stuff up into the apartment. Now, she, of course, she had her little daughter and her little daughter. She can't keep all eyes on everywhere like she's supposed to. Of course, some people take that as, hey, you're supposed to know where your kids are at at all times. Simone, I agree. But at the same time, when you're moving and your kids are right there in close proximity, you know, you got shit to do. You're trying to move couches. You're trying to move things into your apartment. Well, the little baby falls down these stairs. Okay, and what a lot of people don't understand is this little baby was a sick kid. This kid had a disease where you actually bruised quite easily. Okay, so when the baby fell, of course, um, she didn't initially take the baby to the hospital. The baby seemed fine. She was coherent. She was conscious. Uh, two days later, the baby succumbed to her injuries. Okay, um, so of course, there was an investigation that went on. The authorities were contacted, the proper authorities. You know, her daughter passed away. This woman was shocked. She was out of her mind. One of her kids just passed. You know, I don't know about anyone else, man, but I know if one of my kids falls and passes, um, I'm going to be pretty fucking shocked, right? I'm going to be in a state of shock. So, of course, what happens is these placas start questioning her. Of course, she's in question for being a bad parent. That's right off the top. And that's an ugly situation. I've been in that situation where they want to question the, your parenting. They want to question what you have and what you don't have to provide for your children. It ain't all about you. It's all about those children. And that's what it should be like. But they had this woman cornered. You know, she's so concerned with what's going on with her other kids, how they're taking it. Her daughter's now gone. She doesn't know how she's going to afford to pay for this. There's a lot going through her mind at this time. And these placas, of course, the detectives, dirty in the game, right? We're on her. And they started to twist her mind up. Why aren't you a good parent? Where were you at? What was going on? Boop, -de boop, -de boop, boop, boop. All these different questions they asked her. For several hours of interrogation without a lawyer, of course, she's not in the game like that. She's not a criminal. She don't know about the lawyers. Yeah, I'm sure they read her her rights. But Saskia, who knows what rights are if you don't even know how to spell the word rights, right? So she's sitting there. And of course, they coerced her eventually into giving up a false statement saying that she was guilty. That, okay, I, maybe I am guilty of it. Boom. Got him, right? That's all they needed. And so now it went before the courts, okay? And this was a big case in Texas, but kind of something that got swept under the rug over time um and what happened was that man it was a quick and efficient fucking uh, uh uh trial you know they had open and shut case she fucking admitted it so okay that's it that's all they need self-admittance um it went pretty fast and before she knew what was happening um she was convicted of first degree murder um of killing her child to which they said that she abused her child because her child had several bruises on the body now what they didn't understand, and eventually they said there was a bite mark on the body and they thought she was biting her kids and this and that. Now, of course, her kids did testify. Some of the older ones saying that their mother was not abusive. They struggled. Yes, they didn't have everything they thought they should need, but their mom tried the best. She was a good mother. She was a good woman. She was a Mexicana man out there struggling like so many other ones. An inspiration to some men that don't have it like that, but is still trying to make ends meet the best way she can. So I was scared for that, I'll forever give her respect. Because I was scared, that's the type of man I really am, right? I see it for what it is, man. I'm not a hater on nothing. If I see a woman struggling, I do the best I can to assist them. That's what I do as a true man. Anyways, you know, um, I see her struggling. She's going through this shit. Um, and now she's incarcerated. Her kids are all separated. Some of them are with family. Some of them get put in the system. It's an ugly situation what she's going through. And she is convicted. They're saying, okay, there was a bite mark. What she, what people didn't know and didn't really investigate, the blackest didn't do but half their job 
was that, of course, there were several siblings. There was kids that were five years old, six years old, eight years old, 12 years old, 14 years old. She had fucking 12 kids, right? Um, and one of them, you know, they used to fight as little kids and bite each other. And one of them bit, you know, the little baby a couple of days prior to that. It was no big deal. You know, a little slap on the wrist, never hurt nobody. And that was that. And they moved on. Um, but of course, they utilized this um, in the autopsy to make this mom look bad, like she was beating and biting her kids and things of that nature. Anyway, she was convicted. Okay, she was convicted. She's maintained her innocence for 14 fucking years. For 14 years, um, there's been a lot going into it. And just recently... Um, uh, people that are out there, we're talking about movie stars like Kim Kardashian. I don't like that Nalgona. I think she's a peyoya, but at the same time, I'm going to give her respect on this one because she is on the forefront pushing that motion uh, to help this woman. And for that, I can say, Suske, it's about fucking time. You helped the Rasa. We needed that help. Where was your antennas, bitch? Right? When the homeboys needed you, Suske, my brother's standing there right now like Kim K. Suske, oh my mom, something. Help me out here. Um, he's struggling. The struggle is real. Um, but she decided that if for no other reason this lady, lady came up on her radar and she wants to help her. And for that, I'm saying, hey, the Rasa feels that. Or at least I'm speaking for the Rasa myself, I say thank you. You know what I mean? And, and that's it. The porno could have been better. Now, um, so she's maintained her innocence. And of course, a lot of these different attorneys are starting to get involved and see flaws in this case. There was actually a district attorney at the time, just like most times, that was going to run for office. So he's seen this as a nail in the coffin. He's seen this as a bonus. If he was able to convict this woman and put her on death row, um, being such a heinous crime, the way they looked at it, it would be another notch in his belt to help him um, in his fucking quest to be within the government or to be an official or whatever the fuck he's trying to be in his election, you know? And of course, a lot of people do that. They will step on your head and push you underwater to get up out that pool. And that's exactly what it looks like this guy did. So after 14 years of maintaining her innocence of her story being quiet and swept under the rug and no one really know what's been going on, people are starting to uh, pick up on her story. There's been a Hulu, a Hulu, uh, the Hulu channel of Suske. I watch it all the time. I, need Suske. I ain't got cable because I'm broke. I'm a broke Mexican, right? Um, but the Hulu channel has actually did a documentary based on this woman and, and the push is real out there trying to, you know, to help her gain her innocence. This woman is innocent. Okay, and so what happened uh, yesterday was the Supreme Court at the highest level decided that for no other reason they should give her a stay of execution. Now, what is a stay of execution? So I'll get most of you know, but for those of you that don't, meaning that there's, they're going to look into her situation a little bit more, meaning that she's not going to get, uh, uh, you know, catch the lethal injection that particular day. So she has this stay for 120 days, Zarasa, and I, this is where I sympathize and I ask. Right? We need to keep her name lit. We need to push this out there. So I'm scared. Make this motherfucker go viral. Because real talk in real life, man, Melissa Lucio is sitting in a dank dark cell just like Cain Velasquez right now. A Mexicana that is crying for our help. She needs our help. I've looked quite extensively into the situation. I've read between the lines. I've looked into case files. I'm up to par on what's going on with her. And I can tell you right now, man, I'm willing to bet the farm on it. I don't own a farm, but because I'm up north, they call me a farmer. Um, I'm willing to bet the farm on it straight up real life that this Heine is innocent. Um, she was just a mother out there struggling. And of course, she wasn't doing the best she could have. And of course, having all these children, people are going to say, well, keep your fucking legs closed. Yeah, huh? But at the same time, man, we can't call it. Whatever someone does in their life is their business behind closed doors. That's their business, right? Sounds good. You know, I can't help it if she was a little freaky. Doesn't make her a killer, right? But at the same time, shit happens. At the end of the day, the push should be for the people, for the raza. I sit here on my channels, Gunners Collective and Gunners Profiles, every day and I give you guys the harsh realities of what can happen if you become incarcerated if you join gangs you know the unity this that que la chingada no mames way people say gunners we don't give a fuck right it doesn't matter at the end of the day um this is the raza we need to help I'd be remiss if I didn't say help this woman we need to help her because at the end of the day all she has is the people there's nobody else willing to help her of course Kim Kardashian with her big old nalgona ass right is trying and gracias we appreciate that but at the same time what can she do you know what I mean? What have you done for me lately? I know she did something for Ray J and Kanye. And right now, Pete Davidson's happy as a motherfucker, right? But other than that, um, she ain't done much. So, But she's trying. You know, you got to give her the motherfucking uh, the brownie point. She's trying. She's trying. You know what I mean? If I'm lying, then I'm dying. Um, but it's up to us as a gente, as a raza, as a people to help this woman. Now, please refer to the Hulu channel, man. So let's get there's your plug. Hulu, right? And uh, go watch her her documentary that they put out, man. It's a sad situation. It's sad how people's own political agendas and people's own right self righteousness, man, uh, could fucking take a woman down like this. Now she has 120 days until they redecide if they're gonna put her under the tape uh, under the uh, needle, right? So I'm saying, if it ain't fucking the H, she don't want it. Maybe she don't even want that. But I'm just saying, though, my my deal does. Get on demo, right? Straight up, Henry Tupac. You know, you already know about Tupacas. 
the fucking deal is real. But I will say this, um, for someone that maintains their innocence for that long, for someone that when you see her talk, she's very quiet, a very quiet woman, um, very self-contained, keeps her composure, you know, uh, understand how she's feeling. Imagine you being incarcerated right now for 14 years for killing your own child when you didn't have nothing to do with that shit and it was merely just an accident. Now, of course, um, over time, people are looking into this case file and they're starting to realize that a lot of uh, crooked things happened, okay? A lot of things happened that should have never happened. Okay, and it's up to us as a people, as gente, as a, a raza, to voice our opinions on this matter and forever forward with this. You know what I mean? Put it out there because if we don't put it out there, Saskia, what's going to happen? She's going to be a woman executed and her children are going to look at the legal system and maybe grow up despising the legal system. Now, I'm a true believer in the legal system. Hey, Saskia, you do the crime? Saskia, puto, you got to do the time. That's understandable. At the end of the day, man, I don't believe in anyone fucking putting anyone in that predicament or that situation. If authors are doing their thing, let them do their thing. Homie, don't go tell on them and shit. That ain't cool. But people do what they do, such as life. Life just keeps on moving and grooving. You know what I mean? Like the Hoover Groovers. It's going to keep on grooving. But trip out. Um, this came across my radar and I started to really look into it. I started to really look into it because I say that, you know, uh, uh, um, Melissa is a woman that needs our help. Okay, she really needs our help. And as a grown man, man, as a Mexicano, as a Chicano, as Raza, man, um, I hate to see our own people behind those bars. I hate to see our people incarcerated. I understand sometimes we get caught up in situations. I myself did a lot of crime, man. Some of which for I've never paid for them, but you ain't gonna never get me to talk about it because I just get fuck you. And in that fashion, mm -mm. you know what I mean? Statue of limitations don't count. Um, but this woman's innocent, man. All you have to do is look into her eyes and hear the story. And hear how corrupt the system was, man, that put her behind these bars. For 14 years, she has suffered. For 14 long years, man, she has went through this and lived with this every day. It is time, gente. It is time to have our voices felt. It is time to help somebody. If you've never helped anyone before, I believe this woman, Melissa Lucio, needs our help. Now, I know some people are going to watch this and say, Me la pela, you know what I mean? No llores, vato, right? They're going to keep doing their thing. But I say to you, gente, this is the time to shine. This is the time to come together, no matter where you're from. North, south, bulldog, arr! You know what I mean? Or anybody. Um, and put all the differences to the side, man. And let your voices be heard from Melissa Lucio. At least, if anything, man, refer to the Hulu channel and watch that documentary and see for yourselves. Don't listen to a baboso with four glasses and nice gold chain, Sasuke. That's cruising on a Monday afternoon. Not a Sunday, Sasuke. I cruise even on Monday. Bang, bang. That's what real Chicanos do. We don't stop cruising. Um, we ain't losing. Real talk. Um, but in a minute, it'll start in direct fashion. I just want to put this on the forefront and kind of profile um, the situation. You know, she's still facing the death penalty. She's still sitting on death row in the state of Texas. And if you know Texas, like I know Texas, everything, even the R is bigger in Texas. These people will not hesitate to put her up under the gun. That's just how it is. For her even to get a stay of execution in the state of Texas is very rare. So I commend the people that are on the forefront already fighting that good fight for this woman. But she needs our help. She needs our voices to be heard and she needs that to be felt. So I say and I and I implore to you, gente, if you want to help this woman, at least, at the very least, uh, forward this uh, this video out to everybody. Um, so I was gonna, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Not for me. So I was gonna, I'm going to continue to do me anyways, man. I'm the gun, bitch. I make it happen, right? But I'm talking about for this woman. You know, she needs our help. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you refer back to that documentary and watch it. At least watch it and judge for yourselves. Um, you know what I mean? This woman needs us. Um, what more can I say? It's a sad situation, man. I'm befuddled, man. I'm befuddled, just like I said in Gunners Collective. Word of the day. I'm befuddled with this case, man. It's just an ugly situation. I'm tired of seeing our people uh, stepped upon. You know what I mean? Look at my boy Kane, man. He can't even get bail. Fuck this bullshit, man. I'm tired, but the so I'm scared. If, I, if they assassinate me, they assassinate me. But I don't give a fuck, right? At the end of the day, it is what it is. Straight. Somos soy mexicano to the fullest. You know what I mean? I'm going to rock with my people, period. Plain and simple. All Latinos stand up. You know what it is. Anyways, at the end of the day, I hope that you go out there and get uh, what you can for your familia, man. Move fast with a purpose. That's called hustling. Don't hustle people out of what they got. Go out there and hustle for your own, man. That's how we make it happen. Let this woman's name be heard and be felt. Please, I'm asking. Um, also, with that, I say, if you uh, like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If you don't, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy as the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle because that's what I do for me and mine. Um, the shit don't stop. It ain't never, ever going to stop. And in that fashion, bang, bang. For all the haters that hate on this, I don't give a fuck, man. It is what it is. It's a message. It needs to be felt. Gracias. The gun.